If you open an art history book, you might find some pretty intriguing images. For example, Hieronymus Bosch's The Garden of Earthly Delights, where you can see this. Or Grant Wood's Parson Weems Fable, where you can see a tiny George Washington. We made a video about this one. This painting, however, isn't only intriguing, but also mysterious. Nobody knows who painted it, but we do know, or at least we presume, that the woman on the right is Gabrielle Destre, the mistress and advisor of Henry IV, the King of France between 1589 and 1610. All right, well, we know this is Gabrielle Destre, and art historians have estimated the date of this painting to be around 1594, but that doesn't explain much. I bet you still have so many questions. Let me add to your bewilderment. The woman on the left is Julienne Destre, Gabrielle's sister. So why are two adult sisters taking a bath together? And more importantly, why is one of them pinching the other's nipple? To understand its origin, we can go about 20 years back in 1571 to look at Dame Aubin or A Lady in Her Bath by François Clouet. This painting undoubtedly inspired the anonymous artist behind Gabrielle Destre and one of her sisters. The bather's identity is not certain, but it's believed to be either a young Mary Queen of Scots or one of Henry II's mistress, Diane de Poitiers, who, like Gabrielle Destre, had enormous power and influence over the king. She is painted naked in a bath covered by some white cloth. Red curtains are pushed on either side of the frame, revealing a busy scene behind the bather. A kid reaches out for some fruits, a wet nurse is breastfeeding an infant, and a servant is carrying a pitcher, probably to refill the bathtub. The anonymous painter's composition is quite similar to this painting. You first have, of course, the very realistic red curtains revealing the scene. The bathers are in a tub covered with white cloth, the background shows even more red draperies framing a green table, a fireplace, the bottom left corner of a painting, and a working servant. Our anonymous painter definitely took inspiration from Clouet's painting. In another version of Gabrielle Destre and one of her sisters, we see the same wet nurse feeding an infant. Again, in another version of the painting, the back curtains are closed and the scene is focused solely on the two sisters. Julienne is sitting on the tub's lid while Gabrielle is pinching her left ring finger. This finally leads us to this painting, showing us Gabrielle Destre in 1594. That year was very important to Gabrielle as it was the year of birth of her first son, César de Vendôme, illegitimate child of King Henry IV. This painting is a depiction of Gabrielle Destre's pregnancy. The servant in the background is making clothes for the soon-to-come baby. The ring Gabrielle is holding could be the king's coronation ring, a symbol of love and fidelity. A couple of years later, Henry IV would give his coronation ring to Gabrielle. Finally, the pinching of Gabrielle's nipple is simply symbolizing maternal milk showing Gabrielle's future motherhood. So there you have it. The off-putting gesture is just a symbol of maternity. Hopefully this didn't ruin the painting for you. I hope I didn't make the painting less intriguing and, therefore, less interesting. While I was doing the research and writing about this painting, I really thought to myself, why is this painting famous? I mean, I saw it in a couple of art history books alongside some of history's most influential art. Gabrielle Destre and one of her sisters only became widely known centuries after its making, and it probably achieved the status from a simple yet strange and shocking gesture. Is this enough to make a painting famous? Is this just some kind of art history clickbait? Let me know what you think in the comments, and as always, I'd like to thank my patrons over on Patreon. Your support really means a lot to me. If you want to join them, check out patreon.com forward slash the canvas.